Hey guys, I'm here with a quick cardio blast for you. It's going to be four exercises. We're going to do them for one minute each back to back and then we'll have a 45 second break in between and we're going to do that three times. So the work, entire workout is going to be just over 15 minutes. I'm going to quickly demonstrate the exercises for you. So the number one, we're going to start with a wide stance and we're going to crisscross our legs twice. One, two, open come down to touch the floor, or your knees, or your shins, whatever feels right for your squat. When you're coming down, you're staying lifted in your abdominals, your chest stays nice and tall, okay? So we don't want to collapse down in between the legs. That's number one, crisscross with a squat. Number two, we're going to come down into our squat, hands go to the floor, we step out to a plank, squeeze the glutes, lower the knees, pick them back up, Walk your hands back to your feet so your knees are bending. We find our squat and we stand up tall. So we lower, hands to the floor. Walk it out, find that strong plank, lower the knees, pick them up, and walk back to your squat and then pressing up. Okay, that's number two. Number three, we're going to come down for some crossover mountain climbers. So you are in you are all fours to start, then you come up to plank, and you're going to cross over with control. So we're not going to go too fast. There's no hopping with this. It's a crossover with control. You're going to try to keep your weight over your hands, and it's nicely centered between the arms. You're putting your knees down anytime you need to, to, to reset and take a little break. Now, if you hate the mountain climbers, your other option is to Use one side at a time, draw your knee in, step it back, draw in, step it back. So you do one side for the first half, and then the other side for the other half, okay? So that's number three, that's the modification for the mountain climbers. Number four, we come onto our back, find a strong plank here, set your abdominals, really notice that you're in the imprint. Legs will be up, you don't have to be straight, they can be slightly bent. Hands are at your shoulders, you flex up, and then we punch across. Exhaling, exhaling, as we punch across towards the feet, staying nice and short in the obliques. Okay, and then we take our break, grab some water, and we redo it three times. So this is just a little quickie to throw into your day when you don't have time to work out, okay? Listen to your body. You should have warmed up before you do this workout. Do your shoulder circles, hip circles, forward folds, and then afterwards a little cool down as well. Okay? Okay, so I'm setting our timer. Here we go. Come to your mat. Legs are wide. We're going to crisscross. Here we go. One, two, lower to touch the floor. Last one. Come to the end of your mat, crouch down, walk out to your plank, find a nice strong plank, lower the knees, pick them up, walk your hands back to your, your squat, and stand tall. Squat down, hands to the floor, walk to your plank, lower the knees, pick them up, and walking back to that squat, standing tall, squeeze your glutes, lower. Walk it out, lift those abdominals, squeeze the glutes, lower the knees, pick them up, and walking back, standing tall, back out. Doesn't matter how much, how many reps we do, 
We just want to be in control of these moves. Last one. Coming down, getting ready for your mountain climbers. Start in all fours, find a plank, and you're crossing over. Exhale as you pull in, using your abdominals and lifting through the shoulders here. Let's push through our fingertips. Abdominals are lifted, hips are staying high. That's our halfway mark, put your knees down and then come back up and reset. Now if you're in that modification, you're bringing the one leg in and then we've already switched to the other side. Great work, flipping onto our back, find a nice strong imprint, legs up, flex up and punch across. Think about a big heavy weight sitting on your tummy, drawing the belly button down. Your chin stays tucked. Keep your eyes on your thighs. That's our halfway mark. You can put your head down and reset. and tuck your chin. Whew, let that go, that's your first round. Grabbing your knees, roll around on your back. Slow your breath down, and then let's grab some water. Meet me back here in 30 seconds to start round two. mind on what you're doing. Think about the exercises. Think about what's coming next. So starting in less than 10 seconds, we're back into those crisscrosses. Here we go. Little bend in the knees here. Crisscross for two. Lower touch the floor or your knees or your ankles. Whatever feels good for you. here. <laughs> I just messed up my feet. Last one there. Come to your squat. Hands down, walk it out to your plank. Perfect plank here. Lower the knees, pick them up. Bend your knees as you walk back to your squat. Stand tall. Squat down and repeat. Squeeze those glutes. So when you get into that plank, both sides of the body should be working.
Last one here. Great work, come down. Make your way into your mountain climbers. Crossing over at the knee, knee to elbow. Exhale. Really gotta focus on keeping your abdominals, helping you out with this leg movement. Keep the hips up high. That's our halfway mark. Knees down and then reset. Form is everything here. Keep your head in line with your spine. I can feel my head wanting to drop. Don't let it drop down. Less than 10 seconds, you've got this. Keep it up. Great work. Onto your back, right away. In these short workouts, we really have to move quickly in our transitions. Exhale. Check in with your imprint. Flex up a little higher and notice the space between your ribs and hips. If you need to put your head down and reset, do that now. Nice job, keep it up, we're almost there. We have a break coming. Let that go. Consciously try to make your breaths longer. Rolling up or turning to your side. Grab a sip of water. Last round, coming up. Okay, we want to keep up our pace. Keep up your form, good form. Doesn't matter how many reps we do or how fast you're going. You wanna focus on your form with every one of these exercises. Here we go, wide stance. Start to think about your crisscrosses. Two crisscrosses, down to touch. Check in on your shoulders, 
Check on your, your abdominals. Last one here. Great work. Come down to the floor. Square off the shoulders. You're into your crossover mountain climbers. Don't let your head drop. Think about what muscles it takes to push your leg back behind you. Push your fingertips into the floor and push that floor away. Halfway mark, put the knees down, reset your form. Deep breath out. If you breathe deeply, your core has a much better chance of working for you. Less than 10 seconds, hang on, keep it up. Awesome job, right away onto your back. Get into that imprint. Legs come to tabletop. Flex up and cross. Get in touch with your breath. Nice and short in the obliques. This is it, last exercise. Keep it up. Push through. Almost there, hang on, keep going. Nice job, you guys. <sighs> Hug your knees and just breathe deeply. Notice your heart rate. It should be nice and elevated. <sighs> Let your arms and legs reach out long and just do a nice big stretch. Fingertips are reaching, toes are reaching out away from you. Big stretch. And just continuing that big stretch. Let's bring your knees bent, feet are planted, and just gently circle through your arms. Nice and flowy. Just circling through. And let's go the other way as well. One more circle. Letting that go, let your arms just stay beside your body. Let your feet come out wide and drop your knees side to side through your windshield wipers. You always want to feel a little portion of your tailbone on the floor as you do this motion. We don't want the knees to be close together, tipping over side to side. That's not even half as effective as if we let the legs go wide, drop one knee in, and then switch and drop the other knee in. We just want to get more range of motion through the hip joint. Side to side. And then let the legs come back to center. And let's draw the right knee in, give it a big hug. Let the left leg reach away from you. And then switching legs, left leg comes in, give it a big hug. And then rolling off to your side. 
side, coming up to seated, come to your uh, cross-legged, and then let's walk our hands out away from us, rounding into a spine, stretch forward, head drops down, chin to chest, your sit bones are rooted down into the floor, and your spine is reaching out of the pelvis. The heart rate should be coming down now. Nice, long, deep breaths. And then gently start to engage with your abdominals and drag your fingertips back to your legs. Stacking your spine up nice and tall. Reach through the crown of your head. Shake your shoulders. And you are all done. Great work. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope it was good for you. And uh, congratulations on getting this quick workout in. Have a great day.